Hey, how's it going? And today I'm excited to bring you this tutorial. This is really quick and a lot of fun. It's really one of the coolest things I've seen in Lightwave for a while. Anyway, this uses the, the Cyflex plugin and uh, I don't like doing a lot of tutorials with plugins because then I the expectation is that you've got that you, know, you need to have that plugin and their extra money and I'm kind of cheap so I like to work within Lightwave as much as possible but you know if you're interested in cloth dynamics that Cyflex is worth looking at it used to be thousands of dollars and now it's only like I think two hundred dollars or something like that which is not that bad compared to other plugins but anyway so today it sounds kind of lame to show you how to make a pillow, but this is so much fun and so awesome. I just had to make this tutorial. Okay, so we're in Modeler right now. We're just going to make a pillow. It doesn't sound that complicated, does it? We got the box tool and just click and drag or I could have gone into straight into numeric pad. You can type in whatever, you know, what this says five and uh, five. I don't know. We can give this uh, point one or something like that. Give it a little bit of that and uh, now here's the thing, when you're dealing with Cyflex, the more segments or geometry you have, the better off you're going to be. You're going to need to have a lot of geometry. So we're going to put in 50 here on, for the X and 50 on the Z. And then we're going to put in uh, 2 on the Y. So you need a lot of geometry. This is going to be a big pillow, by the way. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to close out of this and, and enter to commit. And we're going to just save this as an object. See, we'll just call this, well, Pello. Makes it easy, right? Now here's the fun part. Now we're just going to send the object to layout. And here we are in layout, and there's our and there's our fantastic Pello. Now this is the part that blows my mind of how quick and easy this is. And it's, and it's kind of a blast. It's kind of cool to see this as a, a wireframe, actually. Let's see what other one I got. Wireframe. Texture shaded wireframe. Yeah, this is that one. Yeah, and you can see all of our geometry we got there right and I'll just turn it around maybe like I can take a little bit better look at it okay now check this out we're on the uh, Pello object we go into properties and this is so easy it's it's not even funny but we go down to side cloth it'll pop up there we double click that and we're good with everything here so we're going to add a force and we're going to add volume so volume is right there pressure we do uh five and the volume, I think, is 20. And we can put the damp at 1. And you think, well, what? nothing happened. you got to hit play. So you hit play. Look at that. Now here's what's cool about this thing. Now you stop it, right, wherever you, wherever you liked it, right? That is awesome. That It looks just like a pillow. Now you're like, well, hey, I really like that. Um, what can I do with it? Well, you can save it as an object. So what you do is you just come up here. Here's a little... Well, it's not a trick or secret or anything. You just go save, but you got to save trans object. That's what you got to click. We'll just call it pillow. Pillows uh, one, I guess we'll call it. Go save. And now if I jump back into modeler, now let me clear my uh, close all here. I go load, load object. Pillow is here somewhere. Pillow one. And there you go. So you got a fantastic looking pillow. So. I'm sure you can make more than pillows with this. This is just uh, giving you some ideas of what you can do, but this is absolutely fantastic. I mean, you can really, if you're going to create a make a pillow factory, you found your dream right here. But anyway, I'm just joking. But honestly, there's a lot of potential with this using Cyflex and, and using it to transform objects into the geometry that you want. And there you go. And all you'd have to do now is, you know, surface it and light it and you'd be, you'd have yourself something, a nice prop. And I have to experiment with some other shapes and things like that. I thought this was just a quick, easy, a lot of fun. Of course, play around with the settings and uh, see what you can come up with. So that's it for today. I am going to be doing some tutorials on cloud. I've been doing some research into them and I see there's different ways of creating them. There's procedural, there's hypervoxels, and then there's also volumetric. I'm kind of exploring each one because I, I think as you, they all have their pros and cons. And so stay tuned for that. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later.